Okay, so this is what we were greeted with. Yeah. Alright, this is the room. Okay, there's the door behind me. There's the bed. Any home. There, that's how you get into the uh, into the apartment through that gap there. Can you see this gap? Look at this. Show the coat hanger in the in the gap. Show show, show them how actually narrow. That's a standard coat hanger, and it doesn't fit through the gap. So it gives you an idea. If you want to go through that way, you've got to climb over that. So if you're a bigger person, you've got to climb over there. Okay. So you've got the bathroom. Or the, well, not bathroom. There's the shower room. Put the light on. Yeah. Put the light on. Okay, so there's the toilet cubicle. Again, if you were a largest person, you would struggle big time. That's the sink. No. I don't think it runs hot water. We certainly couldn't get hot water out of it. All right. And there's the shower cubicle. Okay. Now then, I'm doing this. I'm showing people because I don't. I'm not slagging off the room. I'm not saying it's a bad place to be and all the rest of it. But if you're paying. Um, a lot of money again i know it's not a lot of money but if you're paying for this you need to know what you're getting because there's nothing worse than coming to another place for a holiday to enjoy yourself to find out you're in somewhere like this okay and that's the route view out your window i love the fact that in the um, description it says a view onto the central courtyard but i mean i mean that's 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 hardly a view onto a central courtyard all right so there's the there's a TV there. Uh, there's a fan on the wall. I love the fact if you hang long dresses up, you can't watch the TV. Yeah, okay, so the clothes are against the uh, above the TV, and there's your bed. It's a bunk bed. All right, it's quite a narrow area to climb up. Again, all right, and literally, you you bang your head on the ceiling when you get into bed. It is really really narrow, and then you have got your living space. Well, if you want to call it that, underneath, which is a two-seater sofa, a little table. Um, the sofa is even propped up with a wooden crate because it'll probably break. There you go. All right, that's what it is. I, you can't get a wide screen view on it because it's, it's not big enough. Um, I will say that the owners do put in um, a little pot there with some buns and... Uh, jams and stuff, which is nice. Nothing wrong with that at all. Um, there's some coffee in a pot there, and there's coffee, sugar, and teas. Yeah. Use of a microwave. They put milk in the fridge for us. Um, so you know, that's good. Can't complain about that. Not going to complain about that at all. But it's just being realistic. Oh, and, and that curtain that's above the window there as well. There's, you, you, there's pegs that come with it, so that you can hold it up. All right. So if you want it open, to let some daylight into the room. There you go, guys. There we are.